What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. B. Gale back with another banger. Charlie Kurt triggers sassy leftiest college student. Charlie Kurt trigger everybody. Don't nobody like what uh, Charlie Kurt got to say. And Charlie Kurt for sure ain't trying to hear y'all bull. But he willing to hear it out. He gonna respond back with some with some facts. Y'all just want to go home and be able to say I argued with Charlie Kurt. That's all y'all really want to do, fam. You're not even really out here trying to really stand on nothing. That's how I feel. Some of y'all might. Some of y'all don't. I know how humans work. Some of y'all are here for the attention. She look like the main one. Everybody looking at her. She might have some stuff to say, but also you look like you just out there talking. I ain't gonna lie. But let me let me click the video and we'll see. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Let's get it. Okay. So one thing I want to start off with this. Why does your opinion trump over any other people's opinion? Right. So there do you believe that there is a truth out there? Everything is subjective, but there is a right or wrong morally, especially when you're in a cultured society that is um, based off a set of standards and norms that we act on and we like act as. So, so everything is subjective. So is it objectively true you and I are having a conversation right now? Yes. So that's not subjective. That's not everything is subjective. So why do you believe morals? Okay. Right, so something is objective. Yes, but why do you believe your subjective opinion trumps over other people's right. opinion? Well, let me ask you another question. Right I'll tell you, this. I will oh, answer. Please don't interrupt me. Uh, well, you can, no, let me finish my sentence. Ah. You think that your opinion is over other people's You said that three times. Right, subjectively. Okay. You know it's right or wrong. Okay, is murder wrong? Yes, of course. Well, then abortion Not should be illegal. Answer what, what, question. What constitutes a human? What is a human? Hey. Hey. But to me, a human would be someone with a consciousness who is alive in yeah. this world. To Guess you, what? You're wrong. So but that's no, fine. you're wrong because I think that's right and you think that's Prove right. Me. Prove it wrong. What constitutes a human be being? What is the so definition of a human DNA? being? The creation of DNA that will never exist again, and a soul goes into that moment. I don't expect you guys. What's a soul? A soul. What's a soul? The. No, the no. What is a soul? What is a soul? The eternal, indistinguishable. Let's just say non-visible being of your of your existence. But I don't believe that. I don't well, believe anything is eternal. So that doesn't make yours. Yeah, you can well, hold on a second. Right? At like some, here's the thing. At some point, somebody's truth has. First of all. I'm not gonna get into like the abortion part, but if you don't even believe that the baby inside you is real and is life, I couldn't imagine seeing you pregnant. I, I just don't even know, like how would you even like, how would you even carry yourself when you're pregnant? How would you even like take care of yourself? Cause when, you, when you're pregnant, you're not just taking care of you, you're taking care of that kid in your stomach. So if you don't even believe that's a life, then how how are you when you are pregnant? I just wanna know, I just wanna, cause when I picture it, there's no way in hell you doing anything right when you're pregnant. You probably smoking, drinking, taking no precaution because in your mind, this ain't life. It ain't life until you push. And then one day when you decide to push and that baby ain't ain't breathing, then what? Then how you gonna feel? Forget the abortion part. You know what I'm saying? I must hey choose life regardless. That's that's not even. But if you don't even believe that it's a life in general. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you lost. She's that passionate. Then you you over here, you trying to be a sidekick and whatnot. Get get gone. That's the win. Because guess what? Your truth is your truth doesn't matter. I don't flip the table. I'm not like Charlie, bro. I left. Thousands of decades. You're thousands of decades. Not thousands. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's all embarrassing. But yeah. like your, you your be. truth has been the narrative of this country forever. Has and it? you think Roe yes, v. Wade just, just got repealed. Truth? Abortion was the, legal in this the, country for forty years. And before the forty years, what was and it? crime dropped thirty percent after and it. Went. Yeah. 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 Oh wait, hold on. You think abortion lowers crime rates? Crime, yeah. crime dropped forty percent after abortion became legal. Why is that the case? It's called a statistic. Who has the most abortions in America? Um, woman. Black people. Is that so? Are you trying to say the termination of blacks in the womb or crime? That's a that's a very racist argument. That is not okay. You know blacks. You know blacks have forty five percent of the you guys can come up and talk. Yeah, it's like it's 95 degrees out here, man. So, yes, sir. No, you're the racist. You're the says that abortion lowers crime rates and blacks have the most abortions in the country. Yes. Not me at all. 
Wait, is it not Black Lives Matter or is it African American Lives Matter? It's both. Oh, really? Okay, I thought it was BLM, so I say blacks. Okay. Okay, not too much, Andrew. Do you believe that you have some sort of privilege that skews your view on other people's lives? Because personally, I don't believe you could step in my shoes as a black woman and relate and understand the things. So I feel like it's not fair for you to choose what I get to do with my life because I'm a black woman in a white society. What is that? First of all, Charlie don't even make the laws. So if you even do all that, it's pointless. I promise you that. Being black have to do with truth. Because there are different things that we experience, like what? and my truth might not be like that. What? Do you get into college easier than I do? What? <laughs> yes, you get jobs and internships that white kids don't get. Like, oh, what? Who are, who are you white people? You have, you have entire movements dedicated to your race. They're so, like, okay. Right. Sir, do you remember Those movements are to get oh, friends. Yeah. You're crazy. Okay, so, so do, you, do you not believe in racism? Of course racism exists. The Democrat Party is still alive and alive. Do you think people are racist against white uh, people? Of all the time. Uh, all the time. That's his uh, definition affirmative of action racism is racism against, against white people. people. Yeah. So, you, so you're telling me you don't think people can be racist to white people? Then I'd be working on not cussing, then i come on here and do a Charlie Kirk debate and just be acting weird and saying craziness. Right. And Asians as well. And Asians, that's right. So I, I do have a question in that sense. If affirmative action is racism, why are most colleges predominantly white? Why are they most predominantly white? Why are most colleges, public colleges, are predominantly yeah, white? We are, we're a majority white country, you realize that, right? Yeah. So, so colleges are the depiction of the nation. <laughs> and actually, blacks on campus are disproportionate more than their population in certain areas, in certain campuses, than their population. Because of affirmative action. In HBCUs? In cer certain campuses. Are you talking about HBCUs? So, but let me just ask a more broad philosophical question. Why does skin color matter at all? Why should we care about because it? Because of the society we live in. Because but, 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 no. We're dismissing anything that has ever happened to someone. Of let me ask you a question. What can, what can you do, or what can I do that you can't do? What law? Affirmative action is lowering of test standards and quotas. No, it's not. It's the way it works. It's the way it works. I'm not going to entertain fallacies. You won't entertain me because I'm just let it Why? Why does skin color matter? I believe, I believe skin color matters because of the society we are in. And I guess it goes into critical race theory. Yes, it is. Because of the society we have lived in, race is a factor. If from the beginning of time, race wasn't a factor, and there was never anybody who was oppressed because of their race, I feel like it would not play a part in anything that we do. But because we're less... Charlie, are They were interrupting you. I was... Do you believe in black on black crime? Do I believe in black on black crime? Yeah, yeah it's abundant. Yeah. yeah, it's the number one cause of death in many black communities. I'm just being honest. Like, okay. Now, so do you? So back to our previous. Girl, you knew that. Get out of here. Um, so, in the sense of what, like, like I was saying, you don't believe, like, because of the history and because somebody races have been oppressed, you don't believe, like. Race plays a part in things, and you don't believe like. No, no, no that's not true. No, no, no. So, well, you know, I, you know who Thomas Sowell is? Hmm? You know who Thomas Sowell is? No. I really encourage you. To look. Thomas Sowell's great. He's one of the best black economists in the 20th century. Grew up in Harlem, and he's done the best research in the 1940s, 1950s, and 60s in black communities. And essentially, his argument is that black America was experiencing a renaissance in the 50s and 60s, despite discrimination. Yes. Now, the one part that I would agree with. But, however, it's not the black community as a whole, it's Harlem, the black community. There are, it's Chicago, too, but let's pretend you're right, okay? The one argument that I would agree with, and I'm, I'm against systemic racism arguments, the one that I would say, you know what, there was something very wrong, is when Democrat Lyndon Baines Johnson came in and destroyed the black nuclear family. If there was one part where I could say, you know what, that was unjust and that has to be undone, it's when Lyndon Baines Johnson went in with a great society program with the intent to destroy the black nuclear family. Okay. So in that sense, do you believe the war on drugs also played a part? Or not do you not really. believe in no. the war on drugs? Well, look, I mean, I believe we should be very harsh on drugs. But I think there is, I would give some merit to the argument of some government agencies peddling cocaine in the inner city. There is, there is evidence to show that. I'm not going to debate it. Do I think it has the, so for example, like there's one number that I'm fascinated with, right? Single motherhood in the black community was about 28% in 1945. 
-hmm. Okay? okay? Now it's around 65 to 70%. Why? Are we more racist than we were in 1945? No. Okay, no. so then what happened? The war on trust. Okay, the fair enough. Um, the demolish, demolishing the nuclear family, in a sense. Right, and I agree. believe due to the history that's happened, it, racism is still very prevalent in a lot of the systemic, I mean, a lot of the systems that are in America, correct? Yeah. So, no, no, of course not. But I'm actually, I was actually caught by your shirt. You know Malcolm X is super pro life? Yes. I, I think Malcolm X could teach a lot of the black movement something, because it, 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 more so than Martin Luther King, because Malcolm X, I'm getting there. Malcolm X, I, some people miss, they'll describe him correctly as being violent, right? That's a very small part of his literature. He was very big on trying to get Black America, America to, succeed, to, to succeed despite the black, to, despite the white liberal. Yes. And I, Not the white liberal. He did say white liberal. Oh, you go look up the Malcolm X white liberal quote. And so I think that's interesting. Just think about it. Go look up the, what Malcolm X warned against white liberals owning black America for their own gain. So, which is exactly what BLM is. Okay, so back to, my, back to my initial yeah. point. Back to my initial point. You don't believe that my truth can be different than yours. Specifically no, no, based on exper race. Experiences can be different. But there is always a truth. I'll give you an example. We all might have five different opinions of a car crash, right? But eventually a truth will be revealed of what really happened. Does that make sense? So you believe that your truth is, your the truth that you have found yourself is the ultimate truth? I would hope so, yeah. And I'm willing to learn. And then make America great again. Otherwise, I mean, and I'm actually, I think Malcolm X will teach us a lot right now. Yes. What do you think about like the 1960s and 70s militarization of the police? The shift in the police? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm generally very pro police. What about the what about the military? I mean, what? the question is, what came first? And I actually don't know the answer. Was it the rise in crime, or was it the was it the, the well, police that went into the? If you knew what you were talking about, you would know the answer. Yeah, it's not so clear yeah, um, because there was a massive crime wave in the early 1970s in New York. Escort her uh, away from the table, please. New York, where a lot of New Yorkers demanded more police with <coughs> heavy, heavy, heavier weaponry and the ability to. to Enforce the law. And post militarization of the police, crime went up. And then it went down in the 80s. Violent crime went big time. Well, let's talk about the 10 years that right after. What happened there? What do you think happened? So, so you're drawing a correlation between police officers being militarized and more people committing crimes. Over militarization of the police, yes. Is, Why? Uh, not exactly more people committing crimes, more people being arrested for crimes. Okay. And put into jail or okay. minor Yeah, I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't disagree with that. Crime is a crime. Uh, the prison system, I mean, we account for... Yeah, I mean, I, I, well, why do people go to prison, right? Because they commit crimes. So. Charlie Kirk for sure triggered that whole front row. Do it right here. We didn't even let you talk, fam. You ain't... Yeah. You, you just a spectator. You, you have no brain cells. You... I, I ain't gonna lie, you look like, based off your conversation, some of the stuff you kind of agreed with Charlie on, you might not have just wanted to say that. You, the, the question you asked, you knew the answer. You, I seen when you jumped in, you know a little bit. You just want to stay out of it. Y'all, y'all just ignorant. Y'all here making noise, ruckus, laughing and all that. Get out of here. Me, this is a legendary video. I fought with it. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Be Gelf. Out of there.